The serve is one of the most important shots in tennis. It's how you start any point. First, let's warm up by standing across the net from your partner and play catch. Throw the ball overhand using a high arc. You'll notice that throwing overhand is similar to the motion of the serve. A service motion is all about rhythm. As one arm tosses the ball up, the other arm reaches up to contact the ball above your head. Sometimes it can be challenging coordinating this motion, so let's break things down a bit to help it come together. Start with the racket behind your head, then toss up and make contact with the ball as it's coming down. Serve cross-court over the net while your partner traps the ball and then serves it back. Try it again, but this time make sure to follow through across your body. Feeling good? Then it's game time. Let's build some serve pyramids. To put a ball or object down, the serve must go in the correct box and your partner must track. When you complete the pyramid, switch who gets to serve and who gets to trap. To recap, practice overhand throws with a big arc to develop a good serve. If you need to break it down further, start with the racket by your head and then toss and serve and play a serve and trap pyramid game to work on your skills. To see more fun tennis activities, go to netgeneration.com. Today, we're going to learn how to volley. Let's first warm up with the high five game. High five across your body and then together with both hands. Now, make it a little more difficult by shuffling to your right and then your left. Then go above your head or down by your knees. Warmed up, let's volley. A volley is when a ball is hit without a bounce and we use what's called a continental grip. To do this, grab your racket like you're riding a bike with the strings facing down. Or you can also find it by holding your racket in your non-dominant hand and sliding your hand down to the handle. Once you have your grip down, practice a volley by tossing the ball lightly in the air, tapping it with your forehand, then catching it. Practice this a few times before switching to your backhand. And with the continental grip, you don't even need to move your hand on the racket. If your racket feels a little too heavy, move your hand or choke up on the racket to gain more control. Now, let's progress to the next level. Have one player drop and hit the ball to the other, who then volleys it back across the net where the first player traps it. You can also underhand toss the ball to start. Do this four times, then switch who starts and who volleys, keeping your continental grip the whole time. Don't forget to try with your backhand too. Next, use those volley skills to play a timed game called Rally Racers. One player drops and hits the ball to the other, who volleys the ball back. The original player traps the ball on the return, then starts again. Do this for one minute and then switch roles. To recap, a volley is a shot that is hit without a bounce. You use a continental grip to hit a volley. It's like riding a bike. And introduce time challenges like rally racers for volleys or any shot. To see more fun tennis activities, go to netgeneration.com. Ready to keep working on those rally skills? Then let's get started with the pass and shuffle drill. Shuffle back and forth with your partner while passing a ball. Once your arms, legs, and coordination are dialed in, it's time to do some rally traps. We use trapping to emphasize a good contact point. So start with a bounce and hit over the net to your partner, who then traps the ball. Then repeat. More importantly, focus on where you trap the ball. That position, with strings facing your partner, should be your ideal contact point when it's time to hit. Try this skill builder with your backhand too. Just remember to have your knuckles facing your target. You can hit with either a one-handed or two-handed backhand, whatever feels more comfortable. Now, put these skills to work with rally pyramids. 
set a rally goal. For example, aim for four rallies without a miss with your partner. Each time you complete the rally, use a ball or other simple item to mark the completion until you make the shape of a pyramid. To recap, use a pass and shuffle to build coordination, trapping helps you find your point of contact, and set a goal or play the pyramid game to build your consistency. To see more fun tennis activities, go to netgeneration.com.